What's up guys? Back to me is here with the Foster Season 1 episode 14 Family Day. Okay, so so yeah, again, going to do in the whole it talk about each character. So let's talk about Callie first. Because she's the main star. All characters are the main star, but okay, so yeah, so let's talk about Brandon and Callie's relationship. Okay, so this episode starts off with, with Brandon waking up and still and still and still thinking Callie is ignoring him, but it's actually Cole because Cole's been texting. Brandon's been texting her, "What's going on? Why are you doing this?" Cole says, "Stop texting me," but he thinks Callie. But why would Callie just randomly break up with him out of the blue? And yeah, so so yeah, so Mark, so yeah, so then actually I'm going to do it this way where I talk about the whole episode. So, Brian goes downstairs and Mariana's like, Oh, is Chase, is Chase, was Chase, was Chase, you know, oh, that she got suspended? And he's just mad, like, I was mouthing what he just said. I was like, does, does Chase really care that he got suspended? Because that's what he just said. Because he just was, because he just said, do you think Chase really cares? <laughs> and, so yeah, so last episode, so last episode, I forgot to mention, but but Vigo, there was this ton of love thing, and Vigo punched Jesus in the face because Vigo's awful, and it was a ton of love thing. It was an initiation, and 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 they were all and they were all like, Jesus was all happy, but then Vigo decided to be mean and just give Jesus a big punch in the eye, giving him a black eye, which Lena did not. Pat was not happy about she confronted Coach Spears, that's the coach's name, and she was like and she was like and she was like, What is this t hazing is not right and she was and she was like and one guy or he just like he's like and she was like, Whatever it's called and he's like, It was total love and she was like, It's whatever this whatever this violence is, it stops now. Or your job does. So she was, so yeah, so, so yeah, so yeah, so he's just, he's just thinks that Emma's not going to talk to him because he's just, like, I thought you were not talking to me, she's like, because you're your mom? Nah, bro, that's why she's like, no girl, because they're all catty and talk about boys and all that stuff, so yeah, so yeah, so yeah. So it's family day at Girls United, and can and and yeah, it's family day at Girls United, and the families are are coming are coming over for family day, and cap and that means the Adams Fosters are coming over to girl the Adams Fosters are, are coming over to Girls United, and cap and county and yeah and yeah yeah and. And Callie is, you know, like, so they come and Brandon, Brandon's like, Brandon's like, um, what's up? Why are you breaking up with her? She's like, um, I'm, I'm not breaking up with you. And he's like, and, and she comes to the conclusion that Cole did, because she thought that Cole took, threw her phone away. And, and, and she, so, so, yeah. That Cole threw her phone away. So yeah. So so yeah. So the the girls are talking about who's hotter, Zeus or Brandon, Cesar, and Gabby says you've been kissing the wrong brother. He's just hotter. And Callie says um he's got a girlfriend. And he's like that doesn't stop Gabby. So yeah. So yeah. So so his Jude tells Callie. He's being adopted with or without you, with or without her. Sorry, he's just seven. We have already started the paperwork, and Callie's kind of happy. And Jude's even like, Jude's even like, I know that you push people away, but I never thought you'd do it to me. And Callie's like, and and, and Callie's like, Jude, I did to protect you, so so you would get adopted. And, and that's when Jude's he's getting adopted with or without her, and. And, and yeah, so they said, so so yeah, so Daphne last episode mentioned Callie 
about the independent living program to get your own apartment. You don't have to worry about anything. And and if you and Cal and and all Daphne wants to do is get her two year old kid back named Tasha. Oh, that's all Daphne wants to do. She wants to get a uh, girl's nugget so she can get her apartment and then she can find a way to get her kid back, which is kind of which is kind of nice that Daphne's goal is to get her child back because she wants because she wants. She wants to, unlike her mom, unlike Daphne's mom, she wants to save Tasha. So, yeah. And Callie and Rita informs them that Callie, they need to have a conversation with Callie because she's trying to get in her own apartment. So, 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 yeah. So, yeah. So Callie does tell them, and they're like, Brandon, did you do any noises? And come on, it's kind of like, um, Daph, how would Brandon know this? She just made this decision now. How would she know, how would he know this? Oh, uh, and Brandon's like, uh, no, I knew nothing of this. That Callie's trying to get her on party. It's kind of like, how would, why would they think Brandon knew? Like, Callie just thought of this last episode, so... How would Brandon know? <laughs> then we, your things make no, your sometimes the things in the show make no sense. So, so yeah, so, so Lena, Lena goes to her doctor and asks her if she can get pregnant. Cause, and and when she talks to Steph about car seats, Steph's like glad those days are behind them. Go, glad those days are behind them. Which means that Lena hasn't told Steph that she wants to get, that Lena wants to get pregnant, which which you can tell by what Steph said, and and then Steph's dad comes over and is like, hey, here, here's a car, and Steph's like, um, we can't accept this, and Steph and Lena get into this fight about it, about it's like it's like saying it's like saying accepting him, it's like them accepting him. But him not, it's like them accept, accepting Steph's, Steph's dad, but him not really changing. Cause, cause remember he 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 didn't he didn't come to the wedding, and and Steph and he is like, um, you didn't you didn't invite him. He wanted to invite him to your wedding. Yeah, and Steph's like, she's been through this before, where where she thought he changed, but he did. So yeah, so later, so I'll I'll mention that. So, so yeah, so, 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 so when you call her doctor and, and she says she wants to be brave, she wants to put on prenatal, prenatal vitamins, so yeah, so, so yeah. So yeah. So, 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 so yeah. So at the end, so Cal, so Callie goes to talk to Cole, and and Cole, and and Cole like that he that his parents never accepted his change, and and he and he and he needs to take more homework, but he'll start turning back into what he really was. He'll start turning back into his girl form, and and. And, and Cal and he just needs he needs to call, use Cal's phone so he can call one so he can get more home like what a doctor gives them and 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 Cali's too bu- and Cali's too busy after Cali is too busy somewhere and She's too busy at the apartment, I think, and Brandon sings her a song called Outlaws, which I, was, which I really like. But then she gets the call about Cole, or she's somewhere when this happens, where it's revealed that Cole has, when Cole took the street hormones, he hit his head, and Cal, and Callie starts saying about how, about how, about how, you know, that Lorena says about how street maybe like the doctor gives you but they have side effects and they start saying about how she was called roommate she should have been there for him and 
and she should have been there for him and Cal and and Callie's like and they're like and, and they're like we're here because we got no one you got you got a family you got a brother you got a family you got a family that wants you so if if you don't want to be here then you can just get out of here so yeah so yeah so Cal so I talked to Rita Rita Rita's like that she had a, that she had a husband that she cheated on and she didn't know and she felt she didn't know that she'd feel bad. So yeah, so Callie so Callie realizes that she knows where she needs to be now. She needs to be at Girls United. So yeah, so at, at, at the end of the episode, Steph goes to her dad's house to discover that he's dead. Really. So she goes to and she's and she's like she keeps saying his name, but he keeps not waking up. So, yeah. That was a very somber ending to the episode. Killing Steph's dad off. Like, I was not expecting that. I was not expecting them to kill Steph's dad. Like, I was not expecting that. So, yeah. And Cole does tell Callie about how he, you know, about how he wanted his parents to be. Callie, Cole comes back, and he tells, and he tells his tells Callie about how he really wanted his parents to be there, but they weren't, and it's just, it's, it's just like, poor Cole, he just wants his family to accept him, but they don't, it's, it's kind of awful for him, but yeah, that wraps up this episode, so I thought this episode was really good, Steph, Lena's, I don't know when Steph's going to tell stuff about her one to have a baby, I don't know when that's going to happen, probably so since this season has 21 episodes, they're probably gonna have to shorten it. They're probably gonna have to like tell it probably next episode that's after, that's after that. So they're gonna have to do that. I don't know when they're gonna do it, but they're gonna have to do it because yeah. So yeah. So Callie is gonna have to come back to the foster now to sell to mourn the death of Seth's dad because yeah. It's sad that they killed Steph's dad off. I was expecting them to kill him off. I wasn't expecting that. That was that was a shocking reveal that I was not expecting. But yeah, so like, comment, subscribe. Hope you guys have a wonderful evening. And I'll see you next to the Fosters.